Hello everyone, AC here with another spiritual video. And before I start this video, please look down at the screen below and like, comment, or share this video. We just want to make sure that this video virals out to as many people as possible. Today I want to talk to you guys about something called the victim mentality. And I want to spend a little bit of time on that. You know, if you look in the dictionary and you, you know, pull down the definition of what a victim is about, you'll find that um, being a victim is being caught up in an isolated situation. You know, it could be a burglary, it could be a crime, it could be an accident. But by and large, you know, be, being a victim is tied to something that is isolated. It only happens once or a couple times. But as you look around society as a whole, what we're starting to see is that individuals are taking on the definition of being a victim in their personal lives as an ongoing permanent status, as though, you know, being a victim is just a way of life. And what, what we see is that individuals have these built-in triggers, built-in examples, built-in programs that they walk around and they say, hey, I'm a victim. And some way, somehow, it's like, it's okay. It's like, it's cool to be a victim. And that's a huge part of what's what we're seeing taking place in society. We're seeing too many individuals that are walking around with these ins installed programs within themselves that limit their potential. So in other words, you have individuals that feel that why should they even try? Why, you know, what difference does it make? Why should I pursue my goals? Why should I pursue my dreams? Why should I pursue anything? It doesn't matter. I'm already doomed. And I want to tell you guys something. It's almost an epidemic that we have to get ahead of. We, we've got to start helping each other through these type of situations so individuals don't feel that they are victims. I really feel that one of the biggest issues that we have in society is that some of our society has been taught to be a victim and to be okay with it. And once individuals feel okay having this victim mentality, then guess what? It justifies and fuels all the non-action that they have going on in their lives. So, you know, what do individuals do? They look at the world around them and they say, because I'm this, I'm a victim. Because this has happened to me, I'm a victim. Hey, I see an example over there of somebody that's a victim. And pretty soon we have a class of individuals in humanity that are walking around with no motivation to go after any of their goals, go after any dreams in their lives because of this built-in mentality. So what's the solution, Ace? What, what should we do about this? Well, I want to share with you guys a couple things. First of all, we have to make sure that ourselves, that we're not falling prey to this victim mentality. And what do I mean by that? I believe a lot of us walk around with this victim energy about ourselves and we don't even know it, okay? And I would ask you to consider how do you feel about yourself? What are some of the things that you talk to yourself about internally? Um, do you find that you, you're more negative than positive? Are you more optimistic or are you pessimistic? You know, those are the different built-in triggers that we have in ourselves that keep us stuck and put us in a situation where we can't get up and move on with our lives. So we've got to put ourselves in check day in and day out to make sure that we're not walking around and creating an example or being an example of being a victim. The other thing that we got to do is we got to uplift each other more. Okay. And, and what do I mean about that? I, I see a lot of people that will hate on one another. But what we have to do is we got to start complimenting each other. Guys, we have to understand that we all came to this planet with a purpose. We all came here with a seed of purpose that's within us. And all of us have different unique talents, different unique skills, different unique gifts. And we have to start verbally 
expressing those with one another. And we have to feel good about it. We, you know, I, I see some people give a compliment and they feel as though they lost some of who they are because they paid a compliment to someone else. Guys, when you bless someone with um, talking well about them, you don't lose anything. In fact, you expand more of who you are because you're in that energy. So when we're dealing with each other, let's compliment each other on you know, what our skills are, what our talents are. Let's look to uplift each other more because if we can plant those seeds of positivity in each other's lives, guess what? We all grow, we all evolve, and we all enhance together. And guys, that's the key. So we have to not only be the example, but we sometimes have to reach and embrace those others among us that are feeling like they're a victim and help to plant new seeds within themselves to allow them to do what? Uninstall these other programs that they have in themselves that says that they can't get ahead, that they can't be anything in life. And we can do that by being the example and just spreading and sharing the love more. So I just want to leave you guys with that video. Didn't want to be long, but start today. The next individual that you talk to, let's start expressing. Let's start showcasing. Let's start to verbally uplift each other and, and be genuine about it. And guys, if we start to do that, not only will we see a change around our personal lives, but we'll also start to see a change in the communities that we live in. Okay, love and respect, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.